Hello and welcome once again. So I'm going to do a video here just to kind of shed some light on a topic that really a lot of people don't understand. And this is credit and debit cards. And yes, everyone knows they're convenient, but so are processed foods, fast foods, and people dying. That's convenient too. And to be honest, I hate to be blunt, but that's what's happening. If you don't understand how everything works in society, you really need to look at the big picture. And credit and debit cards are used to control people and, of course, make big corps such as banks huge sums of money. Now, does that mean that's the only payment option? No! What was around before credit and debit cards came in? What was it? What was it? Cash? Money orders? Checks? And even cashier's checks were around for many, many years and even decades. So the point is that a credit and debit card doesn't mean it's secure. It just means that the bank is making money off of it. Visa and MasterCard are basically the ones that are deriving and making this whole fiasco go around. Then there's the middlemen, which are the credit card processing companies. And they take a commission off of the merchants not from the merchants, but they make a commission off the sale of each transaction. So it could be a half a percent, it could be a percent, whatever that may be. The real problem relies in, is it really secure? Well, considering that PayPal sends emails to people so they can get their information and it's not PayPal, and they don't even have PayPal accounts to hack into accounts so they can fish and get your information, that doesn't seem too secure. Also, your personal information is vulnerable. Anytime you swipe your debit or credit card, there are numerous tactics for thieves to hack into the companies that you're purchasing from, or even the credit card processing companies. So let's say you go to a large company and you swipe your card. Well, the chances of somebody sitting in their car, and this has been known, and you can research this, using a Wi-Fi they have hacked into large companies and taken all of the debit and credit cards, made duplicates and basically went and drained people's bank accounts and, and this happens all the time folks that's never gonna change a chip in the card these guys know what they're doing this is what they do for a living and they'll sell your information on the black market for a couple of dollars and to be honest the best advice is to not use it. Is it really hard to pay with cash? Is it really hard to write a money order and send it in? But for some people, that's very, 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 very difficult. However, how in the world do you plan on healing from your disease, especially if chronic disease? Do you think it's harder to get a money order than go to the grocery store every day to buy fresh berries or get whatever else it is you need? That's a little more difficult. That's not hard either. Is it hard to wake up every day and do your daily routine versus walking down and taking care of something that takes a couple minutes? It's not. It's just the way people are conditioned and it's the way to keep people down at a very, very low level. And that's just a fact, folks. Whether it's going to the drive through to your fast food restaurant, buying a processed food, ordering a pizza. All of this is meant to keep you down. Debit and credit cards are the same thing. Anything that's convenient is a way for evil to take over. And this is the best advice I can give you. And I know a lot of people aren't going to understand this. And they'll never get it. But they'll also never be healthy. And they'll never achieve what they want to achieve. That's just life, folks. If you want to move to the next level, 
you have to make it happen. Things that maybe will seem hard now will be very easy in the future. And you'll be like, wow, this is great. This is just unbelievable how well I'm healing and how much better my life is. Cut out the evil. Move and rise above. Thank you.